Hi, in this video we will try to understand how to verify maximum power transfer theorem practically in the laboratory. This is the circuit actually we are using in order to verify the maximum power transfer theorem. If you observe in between the terminals A and B you have a load resistor. With the help of maximum power transfer theorem we need to check when this load resistor will get the maximum power from the source. According to statement of maximum power transfer theorem, the load resistor will obtain maximum power when it is equal to Thevenin resistance. As maximum power transfer theorem is the application of Thevenin's theorem, in the first step we will find VTH which is the Thevenin's voltage across the terminals A and B. Between these terminals the load resistor is connected. So by removing the load resistor we will find the voltage across A and B which is called as the Thevenin's voltage. In the next step we will find RTH which is the Thevenin resistance. This resistance will be found in between the terminals A and B by replacing the voltage source with a short circuit. We have already observed this in our uh, Thevenin's theorem. The third stage of maximum power transfer theorem will be carried out in uh, various uh, steps. Here if you observe in between the terminals A and B we have connected the variable load resistor and also the voltmeter. So the load resistor is uh, varied in step by step. When we vary the load resistor, the voltage across this load resistor will also vary. The reason for finding the voltage across this load resistor is to evaluate the power consumed by this load resistor. While performing the experiment, we can observe that at a particular value of load resistor, when it is equal to RTH, the power consumed by this resistor will be maximum. The various values in the third step uh, are tabulated as follows. First we will find uh, RL value which is the load resistor. From that load resistance value we can measure uh, voltage across that load resistor and the power consumed by the load resistor. If you observe the three formulae related to the power, the third formula is used here in order to evaluate the power consumed by the load resistor. After conducting experiment, we need to plot uh, the variation between the load resistance in x axis and the power consumed by the load on y axis. From the graph, we can observe the following uh, facts. For the region where RL value is less than RTH, the power consumed by the load increases when the load increases. And for the region where RL value is greater than RTH. In this region, the power consumed by the load resistor decreases even though the load resistor increases. And exactly at a particular point where RL is equal to RTH, the power consumed by the load resistor is maximum. This is a, a brief overview on how to verify maximum power transfer theorem practically by conducting an experiment. Now let us see the experimental video. First step in the experiment is to set a voltage of 12 volts because in the circuit the source voltage is given as 12 volts. So I am setting a voltage of 12 volts by adjusting the knob which is provided on the trainer kit and connecting the multimeter probes to the terminals of the source. If you see the connections here, we have the three resistors which are uh, given in the question. In addition to these three resistors, we also have a potentiometer or a pot here. By varying this uh, pot or a potentiometer, we can vary its uh, resistance. Now I am uh, energizing the circuit by connecting the 12 volts uh, voltage source to the circuit and in between the terminals A and B, I kept the multimeter to measure the Thevenin's voltage. 
you can observe that the voltage we got as a 3.23 volts. Now, as the second step of the experiment, we need to find RTH. In order to find RTH, I replaced the source with a short circuit and uh, kept the multimeter across A and uh, B. I got the resistance as uh, 433 ohms. Now, let us see the third circuit. In the third circuit, uh, we need to connect the load resistor as well as the voltmeter, both parallel across the terminals uh, A and B. By simultaneously varying uh, RL in uh, different uh, steps, uh, we want to measure the voltage across it. That's why I am connecting a voltmeter across RL value. Now, by in order to measure the RL value, we need to connect the potentiometer to the multimeter terminals and keep the multimeter in resistance mode, right? After uh, measuring the resistance, I need to connect this potentiometer uh, same at the, uh, across the terminals uh, A and B. So each time, what we need to do is, we need to change the potentiometer uh, reading, means uh, we need to uh, adjust RL value and find the voltage at that particular RL value. Okay? So, see, I am varying RL value and measuring that RL value with the help of multimeter. After this, I am connecting it into the circuit in order to measure the voltage across this uh, RL value. Okay? So, in each and every step, uh, we need to uh, vary RL value and measure that RL value with the help of multimeter and also measure the voltage across that uh, load resistor. This, like this, we need to increase uh, RL value from 0 and uh, get the voltage across this RL values for uh, various uh, readings. So finally, by evaluating PL value, which is the power consumed at each uh, load resistor, we can check at which value of load resistor we got the maximum power. In this way, we can verify the maximum power transfer theorem practically by conducting an experiment in the laboratory. Thanks for watching this video.